Last year, the League's expose of Scottish hunts led to the government setting up an independent review of the hunting ban in Scotland. From what we have seen and what we continue to see, the League firmly believes that the fox hunting ban is being routinely flouted and the law needs to be strengthened to make sure that fox hunting is really banned in Scotland. The League's submission to the review includes over 100 hours of footage from this year and last year showing flushing to guns with no guns, hounds on a line in open countryside apparently following a scent, hounds chasing foxes. All of these activities were under the guise of flushing to guns, which is supposed to be a way of shooting foxes, but we saw no guns. Before submitting last year's evidence, we thought we'd check what Scottish hunts were up to this year. Again, we filmed half the hunts across the season, and to our surprise and dismay, it seems to be business as usual in the Scottish countryside. Just in February, we saw this huntsman send his hounds into this cover with no sight or sound of shotguns where you would expect them to be. And it's obvious to us that these hounds were on the scent of something at the beginning of last December. Just before Christmas, we saw this fox flushed from cover. Once again, there were no guns to be seen. But there was a pack of hounds in full pursuit. The huntsmen in the red jackets certainly look to us like they're encouraging the hounds to give chase. And once more, there's not a gun in sight. In mid-February, we saw these hounds and huntsmen investigating this hole in the ground. Then we saw a terrier man put his dog down the hole. And out comes fox number one and makes a break for it. Then a second fox dashes away to the left. But something makes it loop back. And disappear from sight. It's a huntsman and a pack of hounds. The fox comes back into view, closely pursued by the hounds. And despite the terrier man's efforts, the fox makes it back into its hole, where the dogs cannot get at it, for now. But this is a scene under an hour later. A terrier man is at the same hole, and the huntsman and hounds are waiting. The fox is released from the hole and is chased out of sight by the hounds. We didn't see the fox again. And once again, there was neither sight nor sound of even one shotgun. The League looks forward to the findings of the official government review. We also look forward to the government strengthening the law and finally putting an end to the cruel spectre of packs of hounds being encouraged to chase and kill wild animals across the Scottish countryside. We agree with Scottish public opinion and the Scottish Parliament that fox hunting should be consigned to history. The present ban was well intended, but it just seems too easy to run a coach and horses through it. The time has come to end fox hunting in Scotland. For good. <laughs>